Born and raised in Beaufort, South Carolina, 20-year-old Sophia Leanne Van Damme was hailed as a bright, street-smart and funny young woman by her loved ones. She earned the title of Class Clown and graduated Battery Creek High School ahead of schedule in 2020. Sophia earned a certificate in welding but faced a number of challenges along the way. Her rebellious streak surfaced at 16 when she ran away for the first time. Following this incident, a family member told the media that she began gravitating towards the wrong crowd and was seemingly in a rush to grow up. When she was 17 years old, Sophia, who was the youngest of five children, fell pregnant and gave birth to a baby boy, Matteo James Van Damme, who was later characterised by boundless energy, a penchant for fun and an insatiable curiosity about the world around him. His love for the outdoors was palpable, with those who knew him remarking on the ever-present twinkle of enthusiasm in his eyes. By 2023, 20 year old Sophia and 2 year old Matteo resided with her parents, Teresa and Henry Jim, in Beaufort, both of whom were former drill instructors now working in the construction industry. Sophia made the daily commute of nearly an hour to her welding job in Walterboro from her parents' residence in order to provide for her son. However, in mid April 2023, She made the decision to move house, renting a home in Sumter County, located two hours north of her parents' residence. This new chapter saw her cohabiting with her boyfriend at the time, 22-year-old Jonas Jerry Washington Jr., aged 22, who was from Burton. Various sources report that Jonas had a troubled past, marked by multiple criminal charges, including first-degree burglary, kidnapping, carjacking and grand larceny, which resulted in Jonas eventually being released on bond and subsequently going under house arrest. In reports from September 2023, it is stated that Washington Jr. was incarcerated in Georgia awaiting trial in relation to charges of possessing a firearm or knife during an attempted burglary, eluding a police officer and drug-related offences. He was initially arrested on June 30th, just weeks after Sophia and Matteo disappeared. On June 4th, 2023, A distress call emerged from Sophia's Wilson Street residence, signalling a domestic altercation with her boyfriend, just a month prior to her unexplained disappearance. Unfortunately, due to the fact that Sophia's case is still actively being investigated, police have not revealed the contents of this phone call to the public as not to compromise their investigations. Shortly afterwards, Sophia reached out to her mother, Teresa Van Damme, expressing a deep desire to return home, her voice heavy with emotion and tears. Following this heartfelt conversation, both Sophia and Matteo journeyed back to Beaufort to seek solace with her parents. Teresa revealed in an interview that Sophia not only wished to remain with her family, but also sought financial aid to terminate the lease on her Wilson Street accommodation. As June 20th approached, Sophia's behaviour took an unforeseen and perplexing turn. Her mother observed her speaking erratically, often repeating herself multiple times, which was highly irregular of her. Concerned about a potential mental health crisis, Teresa urged Sophia to seek medical attention, suspecting psychosis. Despite her mother's plea, Sophia declined the offer to accompany her to the emergency department. On Wednesday, June 21st, at around 1am, the day following Sophia's bizarre behaviour episode, Teresa recounted seeing her daughter and grandson. However, when Teresa returned from work the following day, she discovered that they were both missing. Recalling the scene to WIS News, Teresa mentions, quote, 
When I came home from work on the 22nd, all the stuff that we had brought down for her and Matteo that would fit in our cars, we brought it down. She was setting her room back up and we were preparing for them to be there for a while. Came back from work at 3.30, the doors were locked and all of their stuff was gone. Desperate for answers, Teresa reached out to her daughter via text and phone calls. One call managed to connect, but the line remained eerily silent, other than the sound of Matteo's laughter in the background, and an unfamiliar male voice before the call abruptly disconnected. Two days later, on Saturday, June 24th, Teresa received a series of distressing texts from her daughter's phone. Initially described as concerning and later deemed crazy, these messages hint at a troubled state of mind, likely exacerbated by stressors and decision-making pressures. Following the odd exchange of texts, all attempts to reach Sophia yielded no response, with her phone going straight to voicemail, leaving her whereabouts and her welfare shrouded in uncertainty. On June 28th, just four days after their last sighting in Beaufort, Sumter police conducted a welfare check at the Wilson Street address in an attempt to locate Sophia and Matteo. However, their efforts proved to be fruitless as the pair were nowhere to be found within the vicinity, despite extensive searches of the area for any signs of the pair. Subsequently, Sophia and Matteo were reported missing by her family and officially entered into the National Crime Information Centre as missing persons the following day on June 29th. Officers swiftly responded to the situation and located Sophia's car at her residence in Sumter on June 26th. Remarkably, Matteo's car seat remained within the vehicle. Upon approaching the house and knocking on the door, however, their attempts to establish contact went unanswered. Subsequently, they made the decision to depart from the scene, unable to establish the Van Damme's whereabouts. Teresa Van Damme persisted in her efforts, placing another urgent call to authorities, imploring them to intensify their investigation. She stressed the gravity of the situation, emphasising that for her daughter to disappear without trace was a cause for concern, but even more so given this included a missing toddler. Teresa urged investigators to engage with neighbours, gather information and conduct a thorough inquiry into her daughter and grandson's disappearance. A neighbour recalled a crucial observation, recounting the presence of two adult men and a young boy inside Sophia's car around the time of her disappearance. Notably, however, the neighbour was adamant that the child he saw inside the vehicle was not two-year-old Matteo. The car was impounded by police and was examined by forensic teams, however, whether any significant clues or evidence was found remains unclear. Subsequent investigations by authorities revealed that Sophia's phone had last communicated with a cell tower near Santee Cooper Lake, situated off the I-95, around two hours north of Beaufort. However, there were no further pings after this point. The FBI officially joined the investigation into Sophia and Matteo's disappearance on September 1st, 2023, focusing their efforts on Beaufort County itself. Their search extended to multiple properties in the area, with speculation that Sophia and Matteo might still be in the vicinity. Among the locations investigated was the residence of the father of Sophia's boyfriend, who maintains he possesses no knowledge regarding their disappearance. However, updates regarding any discoveries resulting from these searches remain undisclosed at this time. Police have not named any persons of interest or suspects in regards to this case as of yet. Teresa told WIS News, quote, According to what they've told me, they don't know one way or another which way this thing's going to go. I'm still praying. 
The impact of Sophia and Matteo's disappearance has taken an enormous toll on her family, especially her mother, Teresa. Sophia's sister, Desiree, told the media, quote, My mum, she's on a verge of a breakdown. None of us are sleeping at night. The Van Damme family urge anyone with any information regarding Sophia and Matteo's whereabouts to come forward. To date, only one alleged sighting of Sophia and Matteo has surfaced, with an individual claiming to have spotted them panhandling in Maryland, but since then, the trail has remained cold. At the time of her disappearance in 2023, Sophia Van Damme was 20 years old. She is described as being Caucasian, standing at 5 foot 10 inches tall and weighing approximately 190 pounds. She has brown hair and brown eyes. Her son, Matteo, was two years old when he and his mother vanished. He was described as mixed race, Caucasian and African American, standing at three foot tall and weighing 35 pounds. He has black hair and brown eyes. What Matteo or Sofia were last seen wearing remains unknown. Almost a year on, the circumstances surrounding the mother and son's disappearance remains shrouded in mystery. Did Sophia have a mental health episode, or did the pair meet something more sinister? Lack of any clues or any evidence makes it difficult to come to any solid conclusions. Both Sophia and Matteo's loved ones continue to hold on to the hope that they are both alive and well, and urge them to make contact if they are. All they want to know is that they are both safe and unharmed. Teresa Van Damme told the media she hoped that if something happened to her daughter and grandson, it occurred because Sophia was trying to protect Matteo. Quote, At this point, there's a lot of questions in my mind, but the most important thing is that she's safe. I hope that's the situation, that she just felt that her life was at stake, that she was going to protect Matteo at whatever cost it took, and that she fled with nothing to save him. Teresa continues to pray that one day she will see her daughter and grandson again. Quote, I still have hope. I want them found. I want my family brought back to me. Those with any information regarding the disappearance of Sophia and Matteo Van Damme are urged to contact the Sumter Police Department at 1-803-436-2700.